At the dawn of the electrical age, best friends Ollie, Benny, and Jinshen are more worried about unraveling the mystery of the fire-spewing gargoyle haunting the night skies above their bustling western city than the street lamps lighting their way. When a local electrical pioneer becomes the monster's next target, the 12-year-old boys enlist the help of a knowledgeable newspaper publisher to sort out the secret of the flying menace. Set in the year 1889, the Gaslight Gang, Curse of the Grey Gargoyle, features real figures from American history, as well as the innovative inventions that propelled society forward. Designed to educate while it entertains, the Gaslight Gang is a language-free story suitable for kids between the ages of 8 and 80 years old. Get your copy now in digital or print form on Amazon.com, and remember to sign up for our mailing list at EnterTheLostLibrary.com. Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown, and welcome back to Crypto Comics. This is Mystic Number One from CrossGen Comics. CrossGen is a company that we have covered in the past. There's a rather lengthy video out there about uh, CrossGen's history, and now we are going to start to get into some of these CrossGen comics. I had I checked out a couple before, and uh, Sigil and Sojourn, and I, I just I, you know, they didn't do much for me. But I thought I would try out uh, a couple of the female titles, starting with Mystic. Obviously, you know, this is uh, very alluring. Uh, this beautiful cover by Brandon Peterson. Brando to some of you out there. And so I would recommend that you go back into the back issue bins here at Crypto Comics and you check out the video on CrossGen's history before you dive into this video right here. So... Here we go. You know, and each of these books started out this way. And, oh, I hate to read it, but I'm going to read it again. Yet again. See, this is one of those things you'd see in the back issue bins here at Crypto Comics if you just went and looked. This place grows colder, my friend. Its energy wanes. I am seeking a solution and eagerly welcome your thoughts. It is not like you to be so troubled. So long ago, when it was all set in motion, it was so... Fascinating in its complexity. It surprised even me. Now things are static. Worlds grow cold. And what were once glorious fields of battle lay still and barren. The problem is not simply lazy warriors. The vital energies on which we all depend are fading away. It shouldn't happen like this. Yet it is. It is dying. And the first do nothing to prevent it. The first is a cross-chain comic coming up. Because the first don't understand, they have no idea of the connection between their actions and the whole. Yes, they need motivation. They must be forced to reignite the cycle. Yet they know nothing of my existence. To do so would change them. Why look only to the first? There are many worlds open to you, so many people. If you were to step in quietly, walk among them, then a subtle touch to add just a small mark of your passage, a sign, your sign. Imagine each world, one soul, marked with the sigil, opened to the power. Why just one? I was thinking in terms of efficiency. The number is unimportant. A small number makes for a clear burden on each. Too many, and they let someone else do the work. As we have already seen with the first, still. Come. Let me show you a place already rich with mysteries. Give them another to ponder, and what has been the uneasy ritualistic alliance of jealous guilds shatters. These people use the energies of the whole to do magic and their daily existence is populated with miniature miracles. When extraordinary events are everyday life, it will take a phenomenal event to capture their attention. Ah, this place is so steeped in energies. It makes it possible to believe that things can be made right again. What will I tell them, these sigil bearers? Give them no warning, no direction. Let their actions dictate the flare of the sigil. This will re-energize your warriors, bring them back to their purpose, have them fight off the chill of the current Inu. You mean cross-generation. Yes, power from conflict, 
energy creating energy. As the new ones work toward their own definition, they serve your needs. I tell you, you could start a new chain of creation to stoke the cooling fires of the whole. I feel it growing warmer already. Written by Ron Mars, penciled by Brandon Peterson, with inks by John Dell. Colors by Andrew Crossley. I'm going to show you something you've never seen before. Oh, magic. Quite excellent, isn't he? Magical, yes. Enchanting in the best sense of the word. You have a flair for the poetic, Stefan. You really do. Wherever did you come by such a clever spell? Shoot, shouldn't someone open a window? A card trick. How positively dreary. She's drunk. Oh, please, Giselle, not again. Oh, please, Giselle, yourself. You're so used to the whole world running by magic. It's all you care about. A new spell, the latest intrigue between the guilds, on and on. You're welcome to it. I couldn't be less interested. Bit of a curious stance from someone whose family has always been so highly placed within a guild. Someone whose sister is ascending to guild master tomorrow. Genevieve lives her life, I live mine. She's driven to succeed, but she never learned how to have fun. I did. Uh, your sister. My sister. My sister's prided herself on being the responsible one ever since we were little girls. She locked herself away and studied the rituals and spell configurations and whatever other tedious drivel they drill into your head at the Guild Cathedral, which is why she is where she is. Genevieve's a good girl, but good girls stay at home while the rest of us get invited to the best parties. Let's face it, this is the last place you'd ever find my sister. <clears throat> oh. Hi, sis. Just talking about you. I know. Can I get you a... I want to speak to you, Giselle. Outside. But Genevieve, don't. Come on, let go. Let go. This little guy's over here watching along. What do you think you're doing? Embarrassing me in front of my friends intentionally. Your friends. You call that collection of swells and idlers your friends. And you fit right in with them. If you're going to live your life like that, I can't do anything about it. I'm done taking care of you. But don't ruin this for me, Giselle. I become Guildmaster tomorrow. The other Guildmasters are probably in the city already. I shouldn't have to track you down to make sure you're behaving yourself. I don't need some 11th hour scandal. I like it. I like where we're going. So you come in there and drag me out like a child? Because you insist on acting like a child. I should know. I've tried my best to raise you since mother and father died. And you never miss an opportunity to throw that in my face, do you? You never seem to remember it. Maybe if you'd show me the slightest sign of respect once in a while, respect you. Don't you mean be like you? I'm not telling you to live my life. I'm telling you to get one. Ouch. This is probably the last thing I'll ever ask of you, Giselle. Go home. Stay out of trouble. Be on time at the ceremony tomorrow. After that, I don't care what you do. And wear your guild robes, not some trampy thing like you have on now. Hmm, what's wrong with that? You're going to a cathedral, not a bordello. A bordello of blood. <laughs> Tales from the crypt. Sorry, couldn't help it. Oh, you, I could just, just, fine. If you think you can bully me into, oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh, wacky hijinks ensue. And she falls and snarf. Hey, beat it, Scaly. Go on, get lost. So much for going back to the party. Okay, furry, what's your story? Looking to get yourself killed out here? You're cute. But those are the strangest eyes I've ever seen on a squint. You're a stray, huh? feel that way myself sometimes. I think we'd both better call it a night. Doubt you got any place else to go. Might as well come home with me. Lady, looking for a ride? A magic taxi ride. Wouldn't that just be the perfect end to a perfect evening? What, people can't walk anymore? So suit yourself. Walk. Weirdo, you know, I think I'm going to have a bruise. Some magic going on there. Isn't that lovely? 
Hey, what's going on? Are you ready? What's the sister gonna show up where? Blah, blah, blah. I prefer to get stuck in the back of the t blah, 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 blah. You're here. And on time, too. Thank you. You didn't actually think I'd let you down, did you? I... No. I didn't think so. Not really. Giselle, what's about to happen out there? Taking the guild spirits into myself and becoming master? You know it's what I've always wanted. But I don't know how it's going to change me. I don't know exactly who I'm going to be afterward. I'd rather that didn't happen with things. Like they are between us. You mean last night? I'm sorry. I thought about it and... I was just being me. Here, you have to be presentable. Jen, you're finally getting what you've worked for all these years. I'm happy for you. And we're fine. Thanks. Let's go, sis. You're on. Ha ha. Sisters forever. Yay. Isn't that lovely? Adherence, honored guest, I speak for this guild and call this rite to order. What is about to transpire within these walls is ancient, unbroken tradition. A master expires, a master is born. Bearing witness are they who protect Cirrus from harm, they who rule with compassion, they who are about to accept a new member into their circle. The masters of our six fellow guilds, Magus of the Dark Magi Guild, Mondru of the Astral Guild, Atya of the Jinn Guild, Zai of the Shaman Guild, Vashua of the Tantric Guild, and Yinma of the Enchantress Guild. Gathered for the ascension of Genevieve Villard to Master of the Novu Guild. Novu? Not. Not Navu. Don't get confused. Novu, like Novu Rish, the new rich. It's the new guild. In time, now memory, the seven came together as one to defend Cirrus from a threat beyond all that is. When the beast was vanquished, the seven took its energy into themselves and attained spiritual life everlasting. The spirits of each of those masters live on, passed down through generations of the successors, each new master a living vessel, each new master the living embodiment of the guild's accumulated knowledge. Today we witness the passage, from willing death comes eternal life. There is no higher honor, there is no higher power, Thus has it been, thus it is now, thus it shall always be. And she mutters some mumbo jumbo in a secret magical language, and she puts her hands there. She's about to give him the electroshock therapy and suck out his personality into herself. Congratulations. Sorry, do I know you? Uh, congratulations. I'm sure you're proud. It's a great responsibility. Not too great, I trust. Uh, thanks. I, um, hello? Where'd he go? So the sister gets his handshake, and there's a little interesting sort of reddish glow in there, isn't there? What's going on here, I wonder? Hmm, let's find out. And why does my hand feel so... Magic words. Oh, here we go. Strange. Here we go. Excuse me, I think, I think maybe I'd better get some air. In the middle of the right? Ah! This isn't supposed to happen, is it? Something's wrong! Pardon me, let me through. Ugh, 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 sucking it up, sucking it up. Naros name, what is she raving about? Out of my way, I have to get outside! They're chasing after her. Ah, skeletons are chasing her! Please, it's not supposed to be me! And they suck right into her body. Seven skeletons. I think it's just like the personalities, but this is super scary. Uh, oh, no, the little sinks, the little sneaks there. And he loves her. And look, oh, she's got a sigil on her hand. What's this? We'll find out in Mystic number two on sale July 5th. A messenger from the masters. What could it be about? We will have to stay tuned to Crypto Comics to find out, won't we, beautiful people in TV land? So let's talk about the Mystic Creative Team. Eh, we're on Mars, whatever. Brandon Peterson is an eight-year veteran of the comic book industry. A versatile artist, he has gained most of his reputation as a talented penciler, though he has worn the hats of a writer, inker, and colorist at various times in his career. His first series work was for Marvel Comics on the Uncanny X-Men and X-Men books. 
Later, he was hired by Top Cow Productions, where he spent the majority of his career working on titles like Cyberforce, Codename Strikeforce, Ripclaw, Cyberforce Origins, Medieval Spawn Witchblade, and his creator-owned book, Arcanum. Coming up soon on Crypto Comics. Just prior to coming to CrossGen, he returned to Marvel Comics' X-Men family, working on books like X-Men Magneto Rex and Astonishing X-Men. Brando will utilize his artistic experience to help design and coordinate the fantastic visuals that will capture the imaginations of a new generation of fans. Brandon is penciling Mystic, the flagship title of the CrossGen universe. I'm not reading about anybody else. No offense, guys. Sigil, Scion, meh. This one didn't do anything for me. This one was meh. It's okay, but not as much. This is coming up next week on Crypto Comics. We are going to get into Meridian, another uh, adventure starring a leading lady from Cross Gen Comics. And uh, they don't have advertisements for anything but their own books. And that's, uh, that's right on. And I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. I'm eager to see what Meridian has in store and what both of these titles have in store in the future. Uh, because we are going to do a deep dive here at Crypto Comics into the back issue bins and check out uh, the first story arcs in the Mystic run. This ran for a long time, and Meridian ran for quite a while, too. And we are going to get into all of it right here at Crypto Comics. And if you like magical adventures like this one, starring both dynamic female characters and adventurous male characters, check out my book, The Young Barbarians, available on Amazon.com in both digital and print form from the Lost Library. When their parents are taken captive by a wicked necromancer and his sinister crocodile men, a pack of children from the peaceful land of Aquania must journey across their continent, meeting strange beings and confronting untold terrors in their quest to rescue their families from a witch queen eager to raise a demon lord from his fiery abode. The Young Barbarians, written by your boy Crypto, is available now in both digital and print form on Amazon.com. Published by the fine folks at the Lost Library. And support your boy Crypto by picking up a copy today. Link in the description below.